Since the arrival of the internet in 1995, we've seen an acceleration in the growth of internet-based technologies. Since then, we've seen the arrival of innovations like social media platforms, mobile applications, blockchain, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and more recently, there's lots of talk about the metaverse. Now, if you don't know what the metaverse is, you can't really be faulted for that because what is being talked about is literally supposed to be in an alternate reality. If you haven't seen the movie Ready Player One, I highly recommend that you do because it paints such a vivid picture of what the metaverse could potentially look and function like. But one thing that always stands out clearly to me when it comes to futuristic emerging technologies is that it always gives rise to entirely new industries. Those at the frontier who end up as leaders in the space go on to found billion dollar companies and lots of millionaires are created because they got in first. Imagine what you could have done differently if you could go back to 1995 at the birth of the internet, knowing it would bring forth some of the world's biggest global companies. Well, another opportunity is here with the metaverse still in its nascent stages. So in this video, I'm going to explain what the metaverse is, why you should be paying attention to it, and why I believe that fintech has the greatest potential to lead in the metaverse. Stick around. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremy and if you're new here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so because on this channel I speak about agile transformation, digital strategy and personal development. The word metaverse is a combination of two words, meta which means beyond or other and universe. Now, As the name suggests, the metaverse is expected to be beyond this universe. The metaverse is the intersection of our physical and digital lives that is being created by a combination of multiple elements of technology, including virtual reality, augmented reality, and video, which allows people to live within a digital universe. The metaverse is seen to be the natural successor to the mobile internet as we know it. You can think of it as an embodied and immersive internet experience where rather than simply looking at it, you are actually inside and can interact with it. Take a look at this scene from the Ready Player One movie. It has gained a lot of popularity since the founder of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, announced that the social media platform was rebranding to Meta, focusing a lot more on their virtual and augmented reality business. Now that's a bold move from them that shows how confident they are that the metaverse is going to be a staple part of our future. However, you could easily be deceived into thinking that Facebook owns the metaverse, which isn't the case at all. In fact, in the same way no individual or corporation can own the internet or the blockchain, the metaverse can't possibly be owned by any one entity. The metaverse is built on the theory of decentralization made possible by the blockchain and internet advancements like Web 3.0. The metaverse is intended to be a shared virtual reality where different actors and players contribute to creating a virtual experience that rivals what we currently experience in the real world with additional benefits. Microsoft, for example, has shared that they are focusing on a virtual workplace and productivity offerings within the metaverse ecosystem. Here, employees can have meetings in a virtual space using avatars which allow them to look however they want and interact and meet with others across the world regardless of physical distance. Their HoloLens initiative, which is a holographic and mixed reality device geared towards enhancing training efforts by combining augmented reality and virtual reality meeting spaces in order to allow people to interact with other users and 3D content. All these large players are essentially jumping on board to collaboratively provide experiences in the digital world that replicates our real world activities. Now, following the pandemic and the lockdowns, the world was forced to shift to more digital interactions and transactions anyway. Now, this spiked the adoption of fintech solutions, which enabled people to continue making payments, lending and borrowing, receiving remittances, given the physical limitations that were in existence. Now, this trend continues in the metaverse to an enhanced degree. 
In the metaverse, there will be no place for traditional banking industries or anything brick and mortar for that matter. If the expectation of the metaverse is to replicate our world digitally, then people will need to transact digitally as well. Fintech will be the main driver of financial transactions in the metaverse and already large financial firms are jumping on board to be the first movers in the space of fintech within the metaverse. In August 2021, the Korean Times put out a report that showed that brokerage firms and banks were actively building building virtual environments for their customers. For example, one of the largest security firms in Korea called NH Investments and Securities is currently prepared to launch its own metaverse platform which will provide a virtual space where up to 2,000 people will be able to simultaneously interact and tap into various services, join seminars and even play games. Other firms like IBK Investments have partnered with blockchain-based companies to launch their own metaverse platforms to provide virtual financial services within the new ecosystem. Shinhan Bank has announced that it's working on its metaverse platform which will feature a virtual banking branch to provide financial education amongst other things to customers. KB Cookman has already held meetings on Gatha which is a metaverse platform and is looking to leverage that experience to launch its own virtual metaverse branch. Now it's evident that the ability to manage finances and transactions in the metaverse is paramount to making it as immersive and comparable to real life as it's intended to be. Consumers in the metaverse will have similar expectations of access to financial services which is why fintech will have the opportunity to lead in the metaverse. Facebook, for example, has just launched its digital wallet app called Novi and is running a pilot on Coinbase as a custody partner. Now, what this tells us is that Facebook, now Meta, is looking to leverage the blockchain to power transactions in its metaverse. Virtual currencies will become the means to transact in the metaverse, as has already been done in video games with tokens. Stable coins that don't fluctuate in value may become the go-to currency that is offered as the medium of exchange in the metaverse. And even Twitter has shared plans to allow creators to share NFTs on its platform by connecting their crypto wallets. Now, this would allow creators to share and sell their content without intermediaries and also build online communities, which is a key feature in the metaverse. Plus, there are lots of opportunities for individuals to profit from this emerging virtual universe. Take NFTs for example. Now, NFT stands for non-fungible tokens, which simply means that the asset possesses a unique digital identifier that cannot be copied, divided, or substituted because it's recorded on the blockchain, which certifies its authenticity and ownership. So let's say an artist releases his music online as an NFT, just as Tory Lanez did with his new album, where he sold 1 million copies for a dollar each in 57 seconds. Still bizarre. However, because of smart contracts, the artist can set a contract that allows them to make money off the resale of each of their songs, meaning both the original owner and subsequent owners can profit off these NFTs. An additional example is digital real estate. This means that in the metaverse, thanks to blockchain technology, you can own digital land in video games or in spaces within the virtual realm. You can own spaces where people pay rent to inhabit or pay for the services they offer on your virtual land. Now imagine being able to pay for your actual home rent with money from the rent that others pay you in the metaverse. Radical, right? But these transactions will primarily be facilitated by fintechs. So friends, the metaverse is here now and there's enormous opportunity for fintechs to lead in this space due to its virtual nature. Thankfully, we're still in the very early and nascent stages, so there's still a lot of time to get educated and explore the potential opportunities that lie within this new frontier of technology. I hope you found this video valuable, and if you did, remember to hit the like button, drop me a comment, and as always, if you like my African-themed prints, the link will be in the description where you can order yours at a discount. I hope you have an amazing week, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.